Thank you. We turn now to topical questions, and question number one, Rona Mackay. Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what its response is to the reported Police Scotland estate review and how it will ensure the outcome has no adverse impact on service delivery. Cabinet Secretary Michael Matheson. Uh, the Police Scotland estate strategy, which was approved by the Scottish Police Authority on the 24th of June 2015, sets out a framework which has providing a service to local communities at its core and seeks to remodel the police estate to make it fit for, for the policing needs of the future. It includes a strong emphasis on shared facilities with other public services where possible. The review of the police estate presents opportunities to increase collaboration with partners, sharing premises and joining up services to communities. There are already examples of uh, collaboration in Cooper in uh, the division's leasing with the, uh, a shared occupancy arrangement with Fife Council. In Fort William, a new shared police and ambulance station was opened in 2014, and in Aberdeen, a, a, a joint police and NHS medical practice was opened two years ago in the Ferry Hill area. The Scottish Police Authority has made clear that local police commanders will play a leading role in deciding whether any changes to the police estate are compatible with maintaining an effective local policing service. Engagement will be undertaken by local policing teams to ensure that future decisions are built upon local consultation with communities and partners. Rona Mackay. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for that answer. What is the timescale for this review and what discussions are taking place between Police Scotland and other agencies and local authorities on the potential for sharing, sharing sites in the future? Cabinet Secretary. Uh, the review of the estate uh, has identified a number of police stations which are uh, not, in the police's view at the present time, do not match its present requirements and are subject to some form of consultation with communities our partners and their staff. The consultations will be carried out by the local police teams themselves, ensuring uh, that they take decisions which are based upon the local needs within that community. The nature of that consultation will also be determined at a local level, depending on local circumstances and the potential change being considered. Anyone an officer who has an interest in or view on the management of the police estate should engage fully with Police Scotland and we would expect a range of local interests to be taken into account before any firm proposals are made in relation to individual stations themselves. Rona Mackay. Thank you, Cabinet Secretary. I suspect I'm not alone in my concern at how news of a review and the potential changes to local policing were made public. Can I ask what lessons Police Scotland will take forward in communicating the ongoing process, considerations and outcomes of this review? Cabinet Secretary. Well, as the member may be aware, Police Scotland are actually continuing to take forward work around their estates review at this present time, and the approach has been very much led at a local level, where local commanders through the local policing team will be responsible for taking forward engagement. However, much of that work is still at a very early stage. However, I would encourage all members who have an interest in these matters to engage with local commanders where they have uh, views to express. Of course, um, Police Scotland and the Scottish Police Authority also reflect on uh, their approach to matters, but I want to emphasise to members that this is still at a very early stage uh, and there's a very opportunity for members to continue to engage on this matter with local commanders once the local consultation starts. <laughs>